Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kom ya Shalom. Koholoim la. Ki hawa bashim ya washai. Ba Hashem. Rukhaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. The body of spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's all here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Jachanah. The walk just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, you know, we, we do these judgment lessons to show the flock, you know, like, hey, um, Yahweh is a terrible power, man. He's um, Alashaya, which means, you know, uh, he's a, you know, just a terrible demon like power, you know. Um, a lot of people look at him as if he's this um, loving, loving God all the time. You know, they get that from white Jesus Christianity. And I'm, if I'm not tripping, it looks like in the backdrop of this picture right here, this is a, a, a calendar with white Jesus on it or whatever. I could be wrong, you know, but, you know, it's kind of looking like one of those, you know. And I'm thinking this is a Northern Kingdom woman. But as you can see, she's pregnant. You know, um, pretty much about there. But, hey, this is show you how brutal the Lord can be to people. Um, it says, baby recovered alive after being cut from missing Mexi Mexican woman's womb. So, you know, um, a lot of the, um, you know, Mexicans, um, you know, they are Israelites. You know what I'm saying? From the northern kingdom. But it says, um, an eight-month pregnant she was eight months pregnant mexican woman died after a couple cut her open to rip out her unborn baby who was miraculously r rescued alive officials said um raza ezala castro vasquez 20 and she was only 20 years old was last seen last wednesday after heading to meet a woman she chatted to online who promised to give her hand-me-down baby clothes Local authority says, so you got a man, well, it wouldn't have made no difference anyway because man's going up, Yahweh about Shemiah was shy. You know, this was all set up by the Lord, so it wouldn't have been nothing she could have done to avoid this. All right, it says, after Vasquez went missing, her husband alerted cops to the online chats. And, you know, I mean, we could still use some wisdom here, you know, like, why are you... <laughs> As the husband allowing your woman to go and meet with some complete strangers, you know, about some, some hand-me-down baby clothes. That don't even make no sense, man. You know? That don't make no sense. Especially not in the days and times that we're living in. Because people are callous and cold, man. It says, um... Yeah, after Vasquez went missing, her husband alerted the cops to the online chat, which showed... She had planned to meet the woman at a pharmacy near her home in um, Eastern State. Surveillance footage showed the mom-to-be meeting the suspect outside the pharmacy and being bundled into a car. The pregnant woman's body was finally found Saturday during a raid at, on a ranch with the unborn child cut out. Man, that is brutal, man. Hey, you can't... Hey, look, man. This is why it's so important to repent to Yehovah Bashim Yahushai, man. Because this is... This, you know, hey, he can do you like this. He can literally do you this way, man. This is can you imagine dying this way? Can you imagine dying like this, man? I mean, like, think about that for real. It says that same day a woman only identified as Veronica N raised suspicions when she took a newborn to Varaka's regional hospital and was unable to prove it was hers. So and just show you how stupid people are, man. Officials confirmed that when Veronica N and her partner Gonzalo and were arrested. They had a newborn minor with them, which was rescued safe and sound. The pair appeared before Judge Monday accused of kidnapping and femicide. They allegedly slice, you know what? Let's see what this word femicide means here. I'm telling you, man, people, hey, you got to, hey, th th we need our Lord, man, out here. Femicide. Let's see what definition pops up. It says the killing of a woman or girl, in particular by a man. And on account of her gender, we are very concerned with the high level of femicide. And okay, um, the killing of a woman or girl, in particular by a man. Hmm. It says uh, femicide or feminicide, a hate crime, which is broadly defined as the intentional killing of a woman or girls 
because they're female. Well, I don't know if that's the case. Hey, they they wanted the baby. Okay, but I guess they got her on that. Got you know, hey, Esau put, you know, these people they'll throw up any kind of charge on your ass. But anyway, it says they allegedly sliced open the victim to get her fetus because the woman attacked her was unable to have children herself. See that? If the Lord, you know what? And, and it's scriptures on that because um, was that uh few situations um even with jacob you know what i'm saying his his wife was like you know hey give me kids and he he was vexed with her like hey who the, well, who the hell do you think i am you know i'm not the lord thy god you know what i'm saying i can't make you have children because if the lord wants you barren you're going to be barren if he wants you to have children you're going to have children and that's that you know so the lord he's the one that's in control of birth and death life and death man you know so, matter of fact, let's just uh, go into the scriptures. I mean, this is a sad situation, but at the same time, too, you know, it's just, hey, that's how the Lord gets down. The Lord can get down like that. And they, man, ain't no telling, boy, what, you know. Ah. Lucky. Let's go into the Old Testament here, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 39. The scripture comes out all the time, but we have to show our people that it's the Lord that's that's doing this. It says, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see that? So, in man's goings of you, how are you? It's nothing that she could have done to get out of that, you know? And though people, they may say, well, you know, they, they think that they have... um." free will and all this that and the third but you, you don't have no free will because if she had free will believe me she would have had she'd have been able to say you know what i can see into the future so to speak and this woman is going to try and you know whatever and it says man this is proverbs 20 and 24 man's goings are of yahweh how can a man then understand his own way see so she got into the online chat with this person right at the perfect time she got into a car at the perfect time she done everything according to plan, man. Everything according to plan. So you have to realize that the you know the, the Lord, this is how he deals. Like if you go into um Salakia, let me go back. There's an actual um account. Let me start at verse 19, 1 Kings 22 and 19, where there's an account where the Lord is having somebody set up to be killed. <laughs> and uh, the Christian church They won't put you on game to this They won't let you know about these particular types of scriptures Because if they did It would actually, you know, give you a healthy fear of the Lord, man You know what I'm saying? It, it, it would I, I know it would have for me Before I came into this truth You know, because I was out here wild And I, I you know, you just You kind of get that picture of, you know, the Lord He loves everybody This is what they're telling you God loves everybody He loves the sinner But he hates the sin and that was that that's what makes white Jesus Christianity so attractive. And you know, um, a lot of Northern Kingdom, this lady, you know, with the pregnant lady, you know, those people hey, they believe in um Mother Mary and um white Jesus and all that stuff, man, with the rosary beads and you know, um you know, just weird with it too. It's kinda weird, you know, they're into a lot of Catholic the Catholic church type of stuff where you can basically go and, you know, confess your sins to the Father. And who are they confessing their sins to? They're confessing their sins to a damn human that's out here just as, you know, wicked as they asses are. But this is 1 Kings chapter 22. Let me start at verse 19. It says, and he said, hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne. And I'm saying Yahweh, you know, when you see Lord in all caps, it means Yahweh in the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. So that's the true name of our father. And the true name of his son is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. The Lord's name is not Jesus. Our father's name is not Jehovah. The um, letter J was invented in 1524, about 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, how could his name possibly be Jesus? And they'll tell you Jesus is a, you know, it's the, uh, the English version of his name. And that's not true because that's not even the English word neither. You know, it, it would actually be, um, you know... Yeah, I guess Jesus, Christo in um, the Greek, but he wasn't a Greek. He was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And the, um, the, the angel Gabriel gave Mary the name to give to him. 
and it was Yahweh Shai. And it is plenty of um, lessons on that. But, you know, we have to let the people know the true name of the Father and the true name of the Son. The true name of the Father is Yahweh. You repent to him in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Because we're definitely living in these last days. When you see stories like this, you, you can't help but see that this is, a, this is a very wicked world and we're living in the last days. How much longer do you think the Lord is going to allow these types of um this type of wickedness and evilness to go on before he comes and and makes his appearance man that's why it's so important to repent because like i said again the lord he will have you set up if you wicked as hell and that's just like how i'm gonna get this 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 account right here of a hob first kings 22 and 19 again and he said hear thou therefore the word of yahweh i saw yahweh sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on the right hand on his right hand and on his left. So the Lord, he deals with right hand and left hand side. You know, he, he's a, a perfect balance. If you get what I'm saying, like um, Proverbs 11 and 1, I think that is, goes off into a, um, a false balance. It's an abomination to the Lord. So he created, you know, everything with a balance. He created up, down, wet, dry, male, female, positive, negative. You get what I'm saying. You know, all everything, all his works are, are, are like that. They have a complete opposite and it's even. You know, so to speak. So he created wicked people. He created a righteous people. He created um, a wicked set of angels. He created righteous angels, so to speak. You know, so he has a um, a set of spirits that go forth and, and, and completes um, these these um, these kills for him. Um, I mean, it's just that simple. <laughs> I mean, but the Christian church, like I said, they, again, they don't analyze that. They don't they don't push that. Because they should be speaking on these things in their congregation, you know, to go along with the names of the Lord so that people will actually repent. And they need to be telling the people who 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 actually can repent and who can't repent, you know, because this this truth is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the true Hebrew Israelites. That's why things are so harsh for us, because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, you know, um, long ago. But, you know, we're pretty much about at the end of this punishment that we're under. And the Lord is going to make his coming soon, man. So repent. Okay, but it says on verse 20, And Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit, and stood before the Lord Yahweh, and said, I will persuade him. And Yahweh said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also, go forth and do so. So see, you'll never hear in the Christian church um, a pastor standing in a pulpit that the Lord used an angel to go and, and be a lying spirit amongst, uh, amongst prophets and, and, and have a man killed. They're not going to tell you that. What they're going to tell you is, is hey, the Lord, he loves everybody. And it's all about money. They want you to come in and give some money because if... <laughs> These churches wouldn't be as full as they are, man, if um the, if they really came down with it and said, you know, they're either going to be down for it or they're going to get the hell on and they're never coming back. And more than likely, they're never coming back because Jake like to be pacified. Jake likes smooth words. They like to hear smooth shit, smooth talk. That's why it's nothing for a preacher like T.D. Jakes or Creflo Dollar or, you know, these people to run into a church and have a, a mega church of 50,000 people sitting there at one time listening to them. And with a bunch of damn big hat wearing women, mostly, that's their congregation. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing for them to do that because our people like to hear smooth things. They don't want to hear correction. Our people don't want to be reproved. They don't want to be, um, they just don't want to be corrected, man. They hate correction, man. They hate the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, let me get this in the NLT over here. It says, then Micaiah continued, listen Listen to what the Lord says. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne with all the armies of heaven around him on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, who can entice Ahab to go into battle against Ramoth Galead so he can be killed? See, there were many suggestions. And finally, a spirit approached the Lord and said, I can do it. How would you do this? The Lord asked. And the spirit replied, I will go out and inspire all Ahab's prophets to speak lies. You will succeed, said the Lord. Go ahead and do it. So see that? So now let me go off into... I wanted to go up into the Apocrypha real quick. Salak, yeah, guys. Uh, Salak. 
go into this other Bible real quick with the Apocrypha in it because I want to prove and show that there's a left hand side and a right hand side to the Lord because a lot of people they just believe that the Lord is just good, good, good all the time, but the Lord He created spirits for vengeance. So let's go into the book of Sirach, also known as um, Ecclesiasticus. Uh, what is that? 33. Let me start at verse 15, 14. Matter of fact, let me start at verse 13. It says, As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liketh him best. So the Lord, he, he's the potter. If you've ever seen pottery classes, you know, you go in, you know, you kind of sit there and you mold whatever it is that you want to mold. You know, you, you might, you know, you have people that make vases, um, you know, vases. They, they might make a little whatever, trinkets, you know, whatever. Whatever it is that you want to mold out of it. If you don't like it, you throw it in the trash. If you like it, you take it home, you keep it, whatever. You see what I'm saying? But you have the option to do that. So the Lord is the same way with his creation. That goes, you know, that man, woman, however he created people, whether he created them dumb, deaf, mute. You know, blind, no hands, no arms, um, put together like um, Siamese twins. The Lord done that. Okay, it says, um, good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So the Lord, he created, you know, these these two opposites. Because good and evil, that's a, that's a, a opposite. Life and death, that's an opposite. Um, it says the godly against the sinner, sinner against the godly. Verse 15, so look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. So the Lord, he created everything two and two, one against another. You see? He created the male, the female, the, you know, the um, ground, sky, sun, moon. You know, everything is going to have a, an opposite to it. It's, it's complete balance. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let's get that, because um, I quoted the Proverbs. Proverbs 11, chapter 1. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. So he created thing, everything balanced, man. You see? You can't have a negative without a positive. It's, it's, it's just impossible. The Lord didn't create things like that. He created a good people. He created an evil people. So now let's go. And to further prove that, let's go into um, Sirach, the same book. Um, Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28 It says There be spirits that are created for vengeance Which in their fury lay on sore strokes In the time of destruction They pour out their force And appease the wrath of him that made them So the Lord he created spirits for vengeance See Let's get some of these spirits of vengeance that he created Fire and hell And famine and death All these were created for vengeance So if you see somebody you know you see, um, it's a house fire. What you're going to see a lot of that during Christmas It's generally a lot of those. You know, with, you know, faulty tree lights and Christmas lights and all that shit burn down the house. The kids die. That'd be the Lord, man. You see? It says um, death. Of course, you know, when people, they, when, when they out of here and the Lord get them, man, it's, it's, that's just the Lord. He, he created spirits just for that. And it's, it's, it's created for vengeance. If you notice, the key word is vengeance. Because the Lord is paying people back. Now you can say, well, what did this pregnant lady do? Hey, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. But a lot of people, they wake up and they have iniquity upon iniquity, sin upon sin upon sin upon sin, and they never repent. Here you go. You got people out here calling on sweet white baby Jesus, and that's an idol. Hell, just calling on that guy, even if that's what you're doing as far as your repentance, you're actually, um, 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 you know, going against the Lord. Because he, he said he would have no other gods before him, right? Verse 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to the destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So you have these, these, these spirits of vengeance that go forth. They're not going to transgress the, the word of the Lord. They're not going to say, hey, Lord, look, hold on, Lord, now you're going too far. She's pregnant. <laughs> no, they, 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 it says that the... They, they shall rejoice. See, they rejoice in the commandment. Oh, Lord, you want us to go? Oh, we're going to get her. How you want it? You know, it's the same way with Ahab. How you, the Lord, the angels came before him more than likely and was like, you know, he had a, um, a council. 
<laughs> who were going to persuade whatever her name is. And then uh, Angel probably popped up and was like, you know what? I'll use this one chick. You know what I'm saying? Because she's wicked as hell. We'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll try and make it seem like she's trying to give her some hand-me-down clothes. We'll have her meet up at the pharmacy. And we'll do it this way. We'll, we'll you know, hey, look, man, the Lord is cold. Y'all better realize who y'all dealing with out here, man. <laughs> Stop messing around, man, and repent. The Lord is not this patty cake, patty cake, man, that you're thinking of, man. Don't let these Christians fool you. Let's see what else was on that story. Though. I think that might have been about it. Of course, and I don't know why they're blocking her goddamn eyes out. They need to show this this clown. Here go the guy. And they, they Northern Kingdom, all her own people. Okay, it says more than 3,700 women were murdered in violence plague Mexico in 2021. So, hey, there you go, man. You women that are at ease, which around 1,000 were classified as femicides. Okay, so, hey, and there you have it, man. You know? Matter of fact, let's just get one more. So, you women that are at ease, man, you got to chill. Our women are too at ease. Here you go. You're pregnant. Why would you? I'm not, man. Come on, man. I mean, just on the man side of it, you know, but that lets you know the woman is in control of every goddamn thing. He probably told her, hey, look, you don't even need, what are you doing? You know, she probably had clothes already. She probably had all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And she's probably like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to do it and I'll be right back and all this other shit. And her ass didn't show back up. But let's get, um, and then again, who knows? He might have not said nothing at all because Jake is just weak-ass simps these days, man. The damn woman is running every damn thing, you know? That's not what I wanted. I wanted uh, Isaiah 32. Start at verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. See? Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. And, and, and our, our women really seriously, man, are out of control. It says, tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Because, hey, all it's saying is, is repent. Stop being so goddamn high-minded. Get back in order. Because if you're over the man in your relationship, you all out of order. And the Lord can kill you for that just alone, man. See, people don't look at it. It's the simple things. The Lord is about order. When things are out of order, you know, I mean, you can use a car, for instance, man. If you put the wrong gas into a particular car, you can fuck that car up. No? <laughs> You can't put a, a, a water in the oil thing, man. You see what I'm saying? You, you, it's a certain thing. It's a certain battery that, that 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 a certain car takes. You can't put, you know what I'm saying, a damn um, a damn Kia Soul battery into a F three fifty truck. It's not going nowhere, man. So there's order to things, man. There's order to this thing, man. So I just wanted to just touch on this because, hey, sad story, but. At the same time, too, let me just get one more since we already in Isaiah. Isaiah 45 and 7. Because, like I said again, a lot of people just don't understand that the Lord is not what the Christian church has been pushing on us, man, for these, you know, from your childhood up. You start to, you come into this truth, you, you see something different. Like, well, damn, what, what was, you know, what the hell was they teaching? Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See that? I've never heard, of, you know, I never heard those 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 scriptures come out in no church before. That the Lord created evil. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, when you really think about it, <laughs> but you just don't hear it. It's not being taught, you know, because He created all things. He created life. He created death. When people die, man, He created that. Every single way that they die, He created that. You know, as, as crazy as it may sound, but hey, it is what it is, man. So here you go. This young lady right here. They cut the baby out of her stomach, man. Can you imagine that shit? You know what her last 
last breath, her screaming, crying, please, please, don't, don't, please, here you go, you got a damn weirdo, we can see why she probably can't have no fucking kids, you fucking crazy, you a goddamn weirdo, here you go, you cutting babies out of women, your ass don't need to be around nothing alive, <laughs> straight up, man, but anyway, I just wanted to just touch on this, man. So, with, um, you know, a hey, repent, man, to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Because we're definitely living in the last days. And um, I wanted to get one more. As a matter of fact, let me just get it. Because this is where we're at these days, man. People don't give a shit no more. You can't trust nobody right now, man. Can't trust nobody right now. These people out here crazy as hell. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. There's so much crazy shit going on. People just like, man, forget it. Forget it. I'm going for self, man. When you, hey, come on, man. When you don't have, yeah, how about Shimmy? I'm telling you, I look, going from 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 being in the world to being in this truth, I can tell it's a it's totally night and day. When you're not into this truth, man, and you're not calling on the, the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man, nothing is going to go right for you. The slightest thing come up, you're going to be in some bullshit. You got anger issues, it's going to really override you. You got um, money issues, it's going to really fuck you over. You got a, a problem with, with, with sexual morality, it's going to really run you over, man, and so on and so forth. So that's why it's so important. When you come into this troop, first off, you, you, you're under the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Then you get to learn. You get to see what to do, what not to do. Oh, I see why not to do that, Lord. I see why you said to do this, Lord. You see? It makes things simpler. That's why it, it, it comes with peace. It comes with comfort. The, the, the Holy Spirit brings comfort, man, and peace. While everybody out here bugging out, you may not have a job, but you may you, you're going to be able to handle it a lot better um, than a person that that don't know Yahweh about Shimei was shy, because you're going to understand that well. Hey, he's the one that you know handles my daily bread. He's the one that that puts clothing on my back. The average person they ain't gonna, they not going to know that. They're going to be out here trying to do what they got to do to get that shit, and, and, and it's not going to make no difference what they'll sell their belly. You know, women out here selling their bodies, men out here selling their bodies as well. Just to just get somewhere, man. Being, you know, just, it's, come on, man. It's, it's high time to wake out of sleep and repent, man. Because the days are waxing colder and colder and colder. You're not cold. You got to be, you're not calculatedly cold. You have to be to, 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 to kidnap a woman and cut a baby out of her stomach. The fuck, man? Woo. Woo. And then it'll be, you'll be living next door to a motherfucker like that. And you'll be like, well, damn, I never would have thought they would have done nothing like that. They would always come out and speak. She'd be working in her garden. You know, she used to, you know, the kids be over playing and she's bringing cakes and cookies out. And you, know, you go, you, you, you living next to Norman Bates, mama, man. Come on, man. Anyway, with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Come on, inshallah.